G'day guys, Andrew from Going Off Grid. Uh, we've got another update, heaps of progress, so uh, let's get into it. G'day guys, all right, uh, I've got another almost two months of progress to just do a bit of a walkthrough. So um, yeah, let's uh, see what we've been up to. Probably start at the front door here. So we've got the, the front porch. Got our uh, slab in here for the front porch. Um, this is gonna be tiled with some cobblestones to sort of um, just suit all the rest of the bit of character we've got going on at the front. And um, just all up these posts. And uh, as you can see, I'm starting to put up the lace work that we brought from all the way from Tassie. So this lace work down here is um, all the lace work that was left over from our last renovation in Tassie. So we sort of can only incorporate it into the front porch on this one and it'll all suit pretty well. So let's go inside and uh, I'll show you what we've been up to in here. So as you can see, just at the front door, we've got all of our architraves and skirtings are all on and um, just started painting them, which is uh, going to take forever, but this room's almost done. So yeah, painted that out over the last weekend. And um, on the ground here, just sitting out on the road, is the doors that we uh, got from the same guy that we got the big front door from. And they're off of our little wardrobe here. And uh, this one's the office, but it can be used as a bedroom. So we've got some robes there. and It'll probably just be storage or something. Um, now, if we have a quick look out here, which is in the barbecue area, you can also see the concrete slab is all poured out here. So this is all the, the barbecue area. And this is almost done as well. I still haven't oiled these posts, but getting to it. And when we do that, I'll oil all these boards up the top here as well and protect them. Um, so yeah, that, that's that little area. We'll go back in through this way. Uh, and I'll show you something which has really set the lounge room off. This is our wood heater, and uh, it's a pretty flash one. So we uh, we realised that it didn't actually come with legs when we unboxed it. We had some of the bricks left over from the big brick wall, so a bit of a good idea. Uh, we did up a little hearth for it, and then on the back wall here, this is the pressed tin we got that I just spray painted it black uh, with some wood heater paint. And uh, we just nailed that to the wall and it came out really good. So I'll, um, I'll just set the camera down and I'll show you what uh, this fire's got like a little bit of a party trick. So I'll show you that now. So this is um, obviously you can open it the normal way like a regular wood heater. Um, that's quite a big door actually, but uh, the other thing you can do if you, uh, if you want a bit more atmosphere or something, you can open these ones and it's got a big counterweight and you can have it open, almost like an open fire, so something a bit tricky, but um, looking forward to cranking this one up in winter. Alright, uh, so that's the wood heater. Now if I just open up this door, I've also oiled all the deck. So that's all protected now and came up really well. Just all those little finishing touches really, we're almost at that stage. So all of the, all the skirtings in uh, here and all the arc trays, everything's in. Pretty much just waiting on the kitchen uh, in here now. And uh, then this room will be nearly done once we've got a bit more painting finished, but yeah, getting there. So we walk down the hallway. Uh, we've got our shelves on the wall with um, the little LED lights in underneath there. So they'll be switched from the hallway and that, and then we can a bit of a mood lighting for the hallway and they'll come up really good. So we brought they were off our old veranda. Uh, from our old house in Tassie and uh, we saved them and brought them with us all the way across uh, the country <laughs> If we look in the this is the uh, master bedroom, but they're sitting on the ground here This is actually the roller shutter for outside, but 
haven't got that up yet, but you can see we've got another one of the shelves. It's going to be straight above the bed, and it's also got lights under it for a bit of lighting. Uh, and that came up pretty nice. We've got our, um, it's only decorative, but we've got our cast iron insert and the old mount piece here for the old fire. Uh, you would have seen in a previous video where I sprayed that one up and tidied it up ready for the install. So that came out pretty good. And um, in the bathroom, I'm going to uh, start tiling very shortly. So we'll do a quick video of that as well. But um, also waiting for all of our robes and everything to go in. That's um, one of the other last things they're waiting on. So, but we'll go down the hallway here and you will see obviously all of our doors have been hung and this is sort of just like a little storage room and um, linen closet and whatever else our laundry we're waiting on uh, all the cabinets and that so basically cabinets throughout the whole house we're waiting on which is happening in the next week or two so hopefully the next video we'll have kitchen in and, and all the laundry and everything now in the spare room, I'll spin that around. This is a bit of a feature wall. So sort of a last minute thing, we decided to um, get it all trimmed out with some, it's only pine, but it sort of makes it look like, um, like boards, but then yeah, a bit of a feature wall. You sort of see if I go this angle, and sort of see it a bit better. But the nice uh, blue bed will go there. And um, yeah, some artwork, so that'll look pretty good. And also robes. Um, those ones are just the built-ins. So along with these doors that we got, same as the other room. So nice old 150 odd year old doors. Um, but besides that, I think we're, um, yeah, it's just been lots of little, little things for this uh, last month or two, fitting out the inside and uh, yeah, oh, we also got outside here, as I said in the last video, we we're going to get our gate just to block that wind tunnel off we had there. So we got um, our builder Justin built that, came up awesome. And uh, the inside is getting close, got tons of landscaping to do, obviously. Get rid of the sand pit. Um, but hopefully we've crossed the drought of summer and we're going to start getting a bit of rain so things will green up a bit but um yeah for now uh i'm just gonna get in some tiling and um yeah we'll see how we go all right guys just here in the ensuite you can see we've got it all painted out all pretty nice in our bath which you've seen before and uh all the waterproofing in the shower is done and getting ready to chuck some tiles in so these are tiles we've used in previous um, houses we've had. They're um, just the recycled roofing slate tiles. So they're not proper wall tiles, they're actually roof Welsh slate. But um, they come up awesome and they're recycled. So they're tricky to work with, but uh, yeah, we'll get them on the wall and uh, show you what it looks like. Sweet shower is pretty much tiled. Uh, we're just waiting on uh, the the gr grate for the floor, so I can get that mounted in first, so I can tile up to it. And um, I didn't film putting the floor tiles in because I just got a bit distracted and I uh, just wanted to get it done. But uh, yeah, just went with the pebbles, and uh, none of them are sealed or um, or cleaned off yet or anything as you'll see like the slates are all still pretty dirty um, they'll need a good couple of washes and then we slate seal them and then they come up really like black and shiny we've done it on a couple of our previous bathrooms and yeah they uh, look really good uh, so 
Yeah, nearly done. Just got get that grate in and then these sheets are already all pre-cut, ready to chuck in. And then we can get the glass and our vanity and bathrooms nearly done. Um, I'll show you the other bathroom and uh, show you what we were starting with because I haven't started tiling this one yet. And uh, you can just see the bare waterproofing basically. So uh, got the trims there ready to go. But yeah, this will be the pretty much the same tiles, but uh, we're not going to go all the way to the ceiling because we've just run out of the slates and they're pretty hard to find. So um, we're only going to go way high sort of till I run out basically. We should have enough, I've sort of counted them up as long as they don't break too many. And uh, we'll get that one done, so more jobs for me, more tiling. <laughs> Puppies! First rain in four months. Oh yeah. We just need our rainwater pipe hooked up now. All oh, this water should be going in our tank. Well, as I walk down the driveway, sort of see the house in the distance. Uh, there's just one last uh, thing we want to show you, the bit of an update. And um, might just fly the drone down as I'm walking down the drive here. Give you one last look at our new driveway that we haven't actually started using yet. But this will be the main entrance once we um, yeah, finish off uh, all the builds. So... Uh, as you'll see, these gates, these are our big old cast iron gates we brought from uh, Tassie all the way across with us, and they weigh about a ton. And uh, I had to use the tractor to um, lug them down to get them in place, but we uh, put all the slabs in for them and um, got them all mounted up. So yeah, they uh, look pretty good. Yeah, so they uh, are pretty impressive, definitely very heavy. Uh, <laughs> I just have to finish off the, the new fence because that's the old gate, well, a bit of string really, but yeah, once we bring the fence to it, either side sort of comes in a bit and um, then that'll be our new driveway. Uh, haven't put anything in the middle yet for them to like close up against, uh, but we'll get around to it. I said the main thing was getting all of the the slabs in place, getting them level, getting everything. So everything swung nicely. But maybe if I just undo this, if I can get it. So. And they do, the wind is blowing this way. So they will want to open. They swing just with the wind. And um, definitely solid, like they, oh, you can't appreciate the weight of these suckers, but uh, solid cast iron, you can imagine. Yeah. All right, as I walk back up to the house, <laughs> that's uh, pretty much it for this month's uh, little quick video, a bit of a walkthrough. Uh, next month, we, uh, well, next video, next month, we're hoping to have our kitchen in and sparkies are coming this week so hopefully we'll have power hooked up uh, and also the the plumber's got to come and finish off his stuff so maybe next month or two we'll be uh, almost ready to move in so yeah uh, until then uh, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff if you want to see some more but we're getting there and uh, yeah see you next month Cheers.